right away. To shoot or not to shoot, it is a decision law enforcement is faced with every day. It is something the DEA agents are prepared for and trained for several times a year. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram takes us inside some of their training scenarios. It's a decision officers and federal agents have to make in a split second on the streets where drugs, gangs, and guns live. Shoot or don't shoot. But there's a lot of times uh, you're doing a, an arrest warrant and it involves a vehicle stop. DEA Special Agent Dean Shank takes us inside of their assimilated tactical training that's required four times a year. Well, it's very important to uh, train as if we were out on the street doing our uh, tactical enforcement operations. It's done indoors with a big screen, a fake Glock, and a firearms instructor. The inside of this is very much like the remote control on your television. Okay. It shoots an IR beam. Some of the scenarios, you will have like a second or a second and a half to respond to make that decision. On this day, Agent Shank is part of an undercover narcotics team. He's in a car moving in to make an arrest. Mr. Aiken has a felony arrest record, known gang affiliations, and a history of resisting arrest. Commands are key. Put your hands up. Call. Let me see your hands. Put your hands in the air. The suspect will either surrender or resist arrest, in some cases even pulling the trigger. We don't know what kind of motives they have for not wanting to go to jail. David Grant, assistant special agent in charge for Detroit DEA says his agents have to always be ready. They come across uh, very violent uh, individuals that are trafficking in drugs. I went undercover for a bit to see what it was like. Same scenario. Hands up! Hands up, police! Hands up! DEA police, hands up! This time, the suspect pulled out a gun and pointed at me. I had to shoot, and as quickly as I fired... I don't remember, honestly, if he had a... If he pointed the gun or not, or if he had one, but... We see that very much on the street yeah. under real stress. Yeah. People do what they need to do, and then sometimes the shooter, for a short duration after, things are cloudy. You shot when you were supposed to shoot, according to the law. Now, we should point out every situation is different, and that's why agents say the shoot-don't-shoot shoot training is so important, and that's why they're constantly making changes to it. They say firing their guns the last thing they want to do, but they always have to be prepared for the worst. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.